Hello everybody here on YouTube and welcome. Uh, we are drafting Rivals of Ixalan. It's after GP Indy. Um, so I have a little more practice and experience in the format. Um, Dread says, it's extremely but keeping up when I can on YouTube. That being said, your game through your Vintage Cube Trophy the other day was so amazing versus the Green Ramp, dude. Yes, it was so good, Drut. We it was like one of the sickest games of vintage of like vintage cube that I've ever played. It might be like the sickest game I've played. It was so good. Um, you guys wanna take luminous bonds? I kinda wanna take strength of the pack. Um You arrived right on time, Tolovar. Right in time for us to kick it off. We had a lot of stuff to talk about. I don't know on Protean Raider, it's like not really what I wanna be doing in, in Rivals draft, I don't think. And I think that strength is very good. I think it's better than Luminous Bonds. What's our last card? I'll just take Strength of the Pack. Look, if we if we end up being like, ooh, Tillamoli Summoner is nice. Also, Dire Neck, Dire Fleet Neckbreaker is really nice. Golden Demise is really good, and so is Bombard. There's a lot of really good black red cards here. Hey Gabby, I was the guy you teamed up with little vampire girls this weekend! When I told them that you seemed more excited about getting a pick with them than they were, their faces lit up, thanks for making it feel so special. I was extremely excited, okay? I'm just gonna put it out there, McKitty. That, that's awesome. I am very happy to hear that. Um, I think I'm gonna take Till Nolly Summoner just because these two do actually go well together. I think the red-green deck doesn't want strength of the pack as much, but I think we can still make it work. Hmm. I do think Colossal Dreadmas is quite good. I think this guy's just good. I think this creature is just good. <laughs> Missing uncommon summoner is a rare slot that they take two for Cabra. Oh, that's a good point, Garab. Yeah, I assume that if uh, ever there's something like that, it could be like probably the Chupacabra what they're taking over everything. Colossal Dreadmas is busted. You know what's more busted? Gata being a 12 12 with Trample. Yeah, I, I think this Trailblazer is like quite good. I think we want to take that. I think this card's pretty bad. The Frill Death Spitter. We're also kind of not getting there on green cards right now. Isn't it better to take down if you're going red green, or is it too? I think the two drop is pretty good. Always, I I've just been impressed with it. Like, I don't think you need to be pirates to want that guy in your deck. I think the guy's just by the guy. I mean this goblin. I think this card is just very good. Yeah, but do you like this format now? Last week, you kind of sounded like you were only playing it for practice for indie. Um, I'm like still like the jury's out on it, Dokomoi. I like it a lot better than Ixalan. That I can tell you for sure. Um, yeah, Galta has Trample. Mm. <laughs> what do we take here? We could take Fanatical Firebrand. Actually, I think Dusk Legion Zealot is pretty good. We could also take Water Knot. Hmm. I'll take Water Knot, just as a good removal spell. It, like, it doesn't look like we're getting past any green, not really. Yes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> God, that's a, that's a face of shame. Um, here we can take... Buccaneers Roboto, maybe? Secrets of the Golden City has been impressive. Hi, Yanes, how are you? This card has been impressive. But Buccaneers Bravado is good too. Let's, okay. I'm gonna take the Bravado. I think we can wield that secret. I, th those cards don't get picked up very fast. Um. Yeah, I do think tricks are good. I that fanatical firebrand has been not bad. Sailor of Memes is kind of interesting here. We might want Sailor of Memes. Sailor or Scoundrel here. Yeah, I don't think I want Scoundrel. I think I just want Sailor. So we take Sailor. Okay, now we're getting past some like actually playable green cards because I think this card's pretty good, especially if we end up being dinos. Um, we could take Sea Red. I mean, this card's very strong if you're not playing against the blue deck and you can actually keep attacking. 
Sailor, five color, good stuff, let's go. I think C red is the best card in this pack. I do think C red and like Sailor means don't, are not really for like the same deck. But I think if we take C red and, hmm. Interesting. Still not seeing any blue. This card I don't think is really what we want to be doing in red. And I think Sun Colored Raptor is kind of shit. Maybe with the Armasaur. C red goes well with Bravado. Yeah, it does. Luis would have pivoted into dinos. We haven't really seen any dinos. I'm gonna... Whoa, whoa. I thought I had the other one reserved. Fuck. I was thought I had the other one reserved. That was bad. I think this card... Well, we might end up playing this. Like, I, It's not likely, but we might. So it's not like the worst auto pick that could have happened. Um, I think we're just taking negate now. Stampeding Horncrest is not bad. Sea Legs is not bad. What is the Magmatic? Is there a Magmatic Chasm in the set? I don't think there's anything like it. All right, we already have the Bravado, so... It doesn't look like we're getting past much in blue, honestly. We can take the Augur here. These are all pretty bad. I'll take the Jade Bear in case we end up being Merfolk for some reason. Okay, now we can take Secrets of the Golden City. <laughs> Told you we should have started with Clone. Kind of wish it would have wheeled. It didn't wheel. That is important to note. Yeah, I'm not committed to anything right now. I think I am committed to red, but not the server clad for us. And that's whatever. Nordic Designs, thank you so much for the seven months. Welcome back. Good what? Seven months. Getting closer to the year. Thank you so much. I appreciate the seven months of support. Hmm. Our blue is like okay. It's not great. If maybe we pick up some like Kitesel Corsairs, maybe we end up being some sort of like blue red tempo deck. And we really. Green is like not coming from the side. What does this do? Whenever one or more creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, create a colorless treasure artifact with tap. Well, it makes treasure. At the beginning of your end step, if you control five or more artifacts, transform Storm of the Vault. Had, it's like a Dalarian Academy. This card looks bad. Holy cow, Chupacabra. Should we just force it? I kind of want to just take this. Like, I think maybe the pick is Bombard, but I just want to take Chupacabra. I think this card's insane. We, like, ditch all of this. I'm gonna try to make Black Red happen. Ah! Bombard is very good, but damn, I love Chupacabra. Spooky Chupi. <laughs> Bombard is a lot safer. We were not getting past much Black in that pack. All right, all right, let's take Bombard. I, I kind of hate that. Ooh, Hedana's Climb is very good. But here we could just take Crashing Tide. Out until my stream later and chat. Have to pretend to adult. Sounds good, Cal. Thank you so much for stopping in though. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good stream. We could take the Corsair. We could take Crashing Tide. Corsair is good if we want to end up drafting like a, a tempo deck, which kind of looks like what we're doing. Like we can go Kitesel, Corsair, C Red. Like that's that's pretty decent. Hashtag splash the climb. All right, I think we take Corsair. Look, I think Hadana's climb is very good, but I, I think we are short some amount of playables because we did not figure out our lane in pack one. But I think right now we'd play all of these. Like all of our, except the Frost ones maybe. Now we can take a sea legs. 
Oh no, actually just a Trailblazer. Trailblazer's gonna be good. This is the deck that Parney had at the GP. It was basically like a blue-red tempo deck with... Psh, playable, says Garib. Climb and move into Teamer. Maybe I should've just taken Climb. It is a very good card. All right, so 420 Blaze it. Um, I don't think Aquatic Insertion is what we want. Incursion, whatever. Super late Lord. Not in our colors. I think we just take sea legs. We will pick up a couple pirates. Like we might be able to protect Trailblazer, Trailblazer, uh, Kitesail Corsair. You guys want the bravado? Still bravado? Remember, we have a bravado already. Sea legs has been super bad. I actually have been okay with sea legs. It is like a cheap way to get to to be hashtag blessed, but maybe this deck would rather have a bravado. You can get dive down in pack three. I do like dive down better than sea legs for what it's worth. Okay. It is also nice that we get these like creatures that have to be double blocked and stuff, and then we just buccaneers bravado get you. But we're never gonna get creatures apparently. We can take Sun Colored Raptor. This card's pretty shitty, I think. Two bravados is greater than one bravados. Sea legs, sea legs, run, legs, run. Yeah, I think here we take the sea legs. Seal eggs. Sea legs is also literally every pack, so. Yeah, I think at this point we take the sea legs. I do think Sun Colored Raptor is pretty bad. They, we were playing a draft format uh, over the weekend called Pygo, or like Magic Pygo, which I think is a play on like the, there's an Asian game that's called that too. But you basically take a pile of like 15 cards and uh, now we can take the, we could take the Woodland Stream, but there's no way that the Hadana's Climb comes back. So I think we just take Crashing Tide. Hey Skalom, how are you? You shouldn't have opened the packs. You do have a lot of outs for a two drops in the third pack. If you're like black or green is when you are in really bad shape in the in the Exelon pack because those don't get like anything. Hey, Blink Blank, how are you? Mm. Now we could take a Miscloaked Herald. This is actually fine. Going Miscloaked Herald into Sea Red is actually pretty dope. Ellinger, how are you? Welcome. Welcome back. Got some sweet wins out of nowhere with Bravado. Yeah, I think Bravado is good, Will. I do think so. All right, let's take Miss Cloak Herald. It's not super open, Jasmine. Someone's drafting blue near us, but I think it is open enough that like we are we are getting there. Like we would play all these cards right now. Like I don't think there's anything I would cut except the Ferocidon. Uh, well, this pack's a little different. This one has nothing that I want. I guess Aquatic Incursion. We already have a negate for the sideboard. Enjoying the oink oink. Glad you had a great time in Indy. Ellinger, I'm happy to hear that. I want to play uh, DBD soon. I have heard that this killer is very good. We don't really care whether blue is open in pack three. It's more, pack two is more about pack three. Correct. Okay, I don't think I want Storm of the Vault still. I could take another Secrets of the Golden City. I would like to get to hashtag blessings before I do that. Sailor of Means does help with that. Because I don't think I need a third Buccaneers Robado. Oh, yeah, uh, Caitlin, there is a um, rare draft. I'll take, I'll take the Divination. There is a new killer in DVD. It is very good. Um, I haven't played it, but I have only heard good things. And, and I'm hearing good things from people who like play DVD a lot. So... I assume those people have a better idea of like what's going on. Cause like I never thought that Freddy needed nerfing, but I also like don't play that much DBD. Uh, I think now we take the Expel as opposed to the Crashing Tide. We already have one. I do think this card's really good if you get hashtag blessed. Uh, now we can take Sea Legs. Oh, actually this time I'll take Shatter for the sideboard. Okay, uh, I don't think I want to play two sea legs. There's so many negates. 
I keep not taking firebrands. Oh, yeah, I, I actually would have wanted to play one firebrand, huh? I should have maybe take... Yeah, side, we, we are good. Our sideboard is complete. I think I would have wanted to take one firebrand. Even if I didn't start it, it is, like, pretty good in the sideboard. We should try to pick up the, like, dual shot, I think it's called, in this set. Hmm, there's actually a couple good things for us here. This was really good, right, Slubers? I really like it. <laughs> uh, Stormfleet Pyromancer is pretty sweet. Uh, Brazen Buccaneers is also nice. It, it goes well with our bravados. Um, our Headstrong Brute, it can be good too here. Maybe that's better than Buccaneers. You guys are into the Brute. I really hope we wheel the Stormfleet Pyromancer. We might wheel a burn spell from that though, or like a bounce spell, sorry. Um, Stormfleet Arsonist? I don't think we want that. It might be the best pick for us though. It's that or like Storm Sculptor. Storm Sculptor picking up what? Like Sailor of Means is not too bad. I think we just take the Arsonist. We don't have that many fives either. <laughs> Wily Goblin. Yeah, we are getting kind of excellent, huh? This is interesting. Search for Ascanta is actually kind of sweet in the stack. Because if it goes long, we, we will just get to use this and we'll have a lot of spells that we want. Um, and it does help us scry every upkeep. The Water Trap Weaver is also kind of sweet because like tap your thing, attack with Headstrong Brute is pretty nice. We have really few creatures though. It has to be this. Yeah, mm, maybe we'll wheel the search. I, I'm worried about our creature count. It is pretty low right now. Especially because I don't want to play the Ferocid on. Okay, so we have like a pretty decent just kind of tempo deck. We need to pick up a couple more creatures and then we're set. If we pick up an Evolving Wilds, it would be nice for Everwise Augur. Otherwise, we don't have a way to shuffle. Uh, Prospy P is not bad. Super late Steadfast Armasaur. Search for Ascanta. Oh, wow. That's actually like a good amount of tickets. Damn. Elder Dinosaur and Chupacabra count zero. Aww. Yeah, I think we'll take Prosby P. Also it helps us get to... Ooh. Marauding Looter's great. We are kind of getting hooked up. It looks like whoever's... Whoever took the initial um, blue-red rare, I think, is no longer in the plan. Fiery Cannonade, I think, can do solid work in the stack. Let's see. Uh, pirate, Pirate. Pirate. Wizard. Pirate. Wizard. Pirate, 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 dinosaur, pirate. But these don't die. Okay, so Cannonade is actually great in our deck. Another looter. Well, we're getting hooked up in Ixalan. We could take Lookout's Dispersal. Most of the time it's going to be a, a two-mana counterspell. But I think looter's really good. I also think that Thimpeating Horncrest is not very good in this deck, so maybe we cut that. Yeah, the looter is very good. I have been very impressed with this card. Feels like it's just like a solid body and being able to loot at the end of your turn is also pretty sweet. <laughs> Wizard Gabby Sports, I think the more relevant creature type is more fuck. Potato, potato. I mean, it's, it's just not a pirate, more than anything. Headstrong Brute, this is a really good creature for us to pick up. Yeah. Don't think we want to miss Cloak Herald anymore, especially because it dice the cannonade. Um, expel, all these are good. This is good. Sea Red is good. Summoner is good. We might not need the Sea Legs. Stormfleet Pyromancer. That is like way better than I think the Stormfleet Arsonist. I think we can get rid of Sailor of Means. Take a Rummaging Goblin. 
And this will be our 23 right now. Wily Goblin, we can take that and put it in the sideboard. Hi, Anabel, how are you? It's good to see you. Uh, I do like Prosby P. I think we can keep Prosby P. The other thing we might want is this guy, just as some beef. Maybe that Riverwise Augur is not very good in our deck because we have no way to shuffle. So maybe we cut that. And if we wanted to make room for the Sailor of Memes... Slew bars, you have to check on the, like, I think if you click at the bottom, uh, it'll show you how many rupees you have. Forgot my headphones at work today, no gonna be some for my covert watching streaming. Yeah, I do think I might want this, so, like, what do we cut? I think Celix is good in this deck. Oh, we probably don't need two secrets of the Golden City. You think I cut Prosby P? I could, I could keep another secret to the Golden City and cut, like, it could be this and I cut the Stormfleece Arsonist. I have never been impressed with this card. I've never found it to be very good. We could also do 16 lands. Hiya, Cheese. Cheese is good. Welcome. Who needs Rupee, says DJM. Yeah, we, what do you guys think about playing 16 lands? I would be a little concerned about playing 16 and then having three five drops. Like, that's what seems a little bit maybe loose. Prosperous Pirates doesn't do that much in this deck, no. Kill like 16. We might want to run something smaller. We're going to run 16, though. Like another cheap something to do. Maybe River got Wise Augur. A 4 4 is a little bit of beef. I think the Ruby Kuman needs updating. We can't talk about Squirrel anymore. Yeah, I deleted it from the Redemptions. Stampeding Horncrest. Any idea what time we're ducky ducking tomorrow? Probably at noon mountain time. Garib. Is when we'll start. 17 with two looters. Wily Goblin. I think that card's pretty bad. Yeah, I think I'll play... The looters do make 17 lands a lot better. Okay, let's do this. Okay. We will play... Take out Prosby P. We'll play 17. I think that... Yeah, that's fine. We have a lot more two drops, though. I think we actually go, like... This. I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ninety-one sniper, ninety-one sniper. You're welcome. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. The token maker also helps against flood. Yes, and the marauding, marauding, the marauding looters make it more appealing to loot lands away too. So I think we are fine to run seventeen with this deck, even though our curve is pretty low. Yeah, exactly, Synthetic. So I don't think we need double blue by turn three, because like we're not casting Divinations on turn three. We're playing pi Strong Brood Pirates or whatever the, the name of the card is. I hope my keys are binded properly on this computer. I would like to play first. Oh, boy. I'm going to keep this. Am I binded properly? Maybe shifter shifter. I I know there's like two GPs in the near future. Um 
God, okay, my keys are not binded properly. Uh, let's go to account input input settings, I think is what it is. Yeah. So hold on, let me tell my opponent BRB. BRB. Um so past priority, I'm gonna unbind and bind to A. Yield through this turn, unbind and bind to S, and disable bluffing, bind to D. And Navel basically Molly answered that question perfectly. All right, now I think, bam, we did it. Did they reset everyone's hotkeys again? No, Akasha, just, I don't think I had them binded properly in, the, in my account here. So it was still set to like the F keys. If you make it to Seattle, I bump into you. Would you send a couple vipers for me? Of course, of course. I think I'm just gonna see red on this guy. The chance creature gets plus two plus one and has first strike at the beginning of your end step if you didn't attack with a creature this turn, sacrifice you red. Yeah, no worries, Akash. We could also attack and Buccaneer's Bravado, but I think we can just kind of go off. Go ham. Paying doesn't help because I can't pay for anything. But next turn I get to kind of go off because I have five permanent and then I'll make two more. Don't forget to make zero tokens. Um, I think I had that remove all auto yields. No, I actually don't have like the escape key. I don't, I, I need to have a, like what F3 is. I don't have that binded anywhere. I should. I did not. God, I really wanted an island, but that would have been sick. Yeah, we got to make some tokens here. All right. This game is going very poorly. <laughs> I guess we tap out for this because they can't even block this in a, in a good way. Pick two for this. Yeah, Luis is at work. I, I met those guys for lunch, but then they came back and I started streaming. I'll see him when he's done from work. I think if we draw a, an island, we will be in like good shape. But as things are going right now, we are in bad shape. Kurtash, the GP was really fun. Um, <laughs> in case anybody wanted to know how Gabby's GP matches went. It, yeah, it was like this. It was this kind of hand, right? It's like, well, if we draw, at least we have something to do in the next couple of turns. We have these Buccaneers Rilato if they want to try to set up like a big block, but. <laughs> Pay red, red, red for one damage to the face seems bad value. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I had a really good time. Like, it was really fun. Oh, they are trading Merfolk here. Trading Merfolk for Elemental. Seems like they should have let that through. When you say work, you mean Direwolf or Channel Fireball? I mean Direwolf. Oh boy, hello. Oh boy. Oh, Connor, I'm super happy to hear that. Good luck in all your endeavors. This is going badly. We gotta attack and we can't even like... 
Guess we just make more tokens. Oh, so stupid. I actually think we would be like really far ahead this game had we drawn an island earlier. But now I think if we don't draw an island next turn, we're just dead. Oh, never mind. We are just dead. <laughs> Eastern, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, we're dead, you guys. Has it already been nine months? Here's hoping your draws are better soon. Thank you so much, Eastern. That that stream baby is gonna give me some luck. Just you watch. We were extremely dead this game. Our draw was good. We just needed a draw. Uh, Island. A pony has more focus strength. It was a pretty good deck. Let's see, is there anything we want against them? No, none of these cards look good against them. Does LSV work at Dyer with digital? He does, Mikhail. He does. That is his like nine to five. He obviously works with CFB too, but that's like a little bit different because he doesn't, he's not like at an office for that, you know? Land there, we could have got him if they didn't block, right? Um, yeah, we would have been able to... Well, we just had a lot of options if we had, because we can pump plus one, plus one, and double strike twice. They were at, what, 10-ish? Hey, Henry, how are you? Uh, let me take a look one second real quick on that. Day, Mikhail. Is that the date I told you? If that's the date I told you, then that totally works, but. How am I feeling about? Okay, yeah, that, that should work. Let me just confirm when my flight is. But yeah, that should work. Thank you, Caitlin. See you. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate it. Where is my email? How is Eternal? Uh, Eternal's fun. It feels a lot like playing Magic on like a different interface. Um, God, these hands. It's like GPL over again. Well, we'll keep this one, but this one's not great even. I don't think we want this. We want to draw like um, two drop if we can. Gabby, it was great meeting you in person. The GP to talk about match a little. I didn't have higher expectations. His stature was. I hope you did enjoy the DP. I did a trio side event when my friends went 201 when I get. That's awesome, Aaron. Aaron, remind me where we met because I want to remember who you are. Awkward. Okay. Can you offer the world as branch any advice on getting through the opening story mode? I got through the opening story mode myself once. <laughs> That's all I can say about that only. Da -da -da. Also, what is this hand? Forest Plains? Aren't they a Murphog deck? Sure. Um, I think I want to see red. I'll just go ham. Because if they double block my headstrong brute, that sounds pretty bad. I don't want to trade this for my headstrong brute. Probably, yeah, probably just see red. 
It's like Superman inefficient, but what can you do? I saw your trap jet get wrecked and the, the frost and then locked your opponent for the win in round three, talked outside of the bed. Oh, I remember now, Aaron. Yeah. Super nice to meet you too. Shout out to Shaharsh and Har for singing and giving me the Zakama destroy me and the bounty sealed them. That's funny. They're blocking with Merfolk, sure. Would have been kind of dope if they didn't block it, just like 12 of them. What even is Direwolf though? Publication game production? They are a, a game design studio. Sure. Sorry, you can control explorers. You may play an additional land this turn. <sighs> Opponent's playing unknown shores, FYI. FYI's. I think we just secrets to see what we draw. And we'll take care of the furl back in a bit, but we don't need it right now. Yeah, they made a Pokemon online. Oh wow, yeah, that that the command is outdated. They made the they make the Pokemon client, they make Elder Scrolls Legends, they make um Eternal, the card game. Oh boy. Colossal Dreadma, huh? Oh, that was a very good draw. Merfolk looter, that card's not bad. Oh yeah, that's true. Eternal is still in beta. Why are they still in beta? I feel like that game's not in beta anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this thing right now while they're topped out. Because next turn they'll just Colossal Dreadma and then they get to Bravado to kill it. They sideboarded into green and white. Yeah, I don't think they're Merfolk anymore. Like They're not the deck that we played in round one anymore. Yeah, they made the Pokemon client Synthetica. Yeah, so they're gonna go the Dreadma and they're gonna leave that behind and attack with a Jungleborn Pioneer. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Also, if they don't block here, they're just dead. You're the person that can answer that easiest. <laughs> I really don't know though. Oh, I guess, yeah, we can give this menace if we had. Yeah, that is just better. We good, though. Can I stream doing something troll-esque at LSB's place while he's at work? I could, maybe. I could flip his d and monitor. That'd be kind of funny. You know how you can, like, definitely... Um, you, like, flip it upside down? There's, like, a command to do that. I think that would be kind of funny. I don't I don't ever know what like beta beta is. No. Like <laughs> the concept of beta is now foreign to me. I, I, some things are always in beta and they never move out of beta. I could put a cupcake post on his wall. I may or may not but probably may have told someone in this channel to confirm that all Viper Breach streamers are required to mod this channel's mods. Can you confirm that please? Oh my god. Have you considered turning his giant check upside down? That would be kind of funny. I wonder how it's stuck there. I would be concerned with damaging it if it's like pasted on there. Beta means it can make mistakes and blame it on the beta. Yeah, I, I really don't know. I feel like everything stays in beta forever. Okay, Kitesel Corsair Water Trap Weaver is pretty nice.
Control all down. Is that how you flip it? Okay, Guardian is fine because we have Corsair anyway. <laughs> they boarded back into blue green. I, they're trying to do something cute so that I would sideboard against them against their like white green deck, but then now they're back on their like regular Merfolk deck, and none of it, it do, none of it matters because we don't have sideboard cards against them. So do you know see play paper magic ever? I always wondered what it'd be like for my significant other to enjoy my hobbies. We don't play uh, too much paper magic together, no. Um, every time we've played has been like we're at an event and we're like cubing or something like that. We play magic together, not against each other, but like we'll cube a lot together. Like that will be a way that we, I think I'm just gonna water trap Weaver. The river darter. Maybe it's better to like set up Till Nully Summoner into Water Trap Weaver, but I do think that next turn I might want to have Bravado and Till Nully Summoner. Oh, wait, no, I can't because I don't have double red. Paper Magic is out, Splendors, and we do play a lot of games together that aren't, um, that aren't, uh, Katie, Katie, how are you, you guys? Katie Rose is on my stream team. Oh, boy. That was annoying. She has an awesome stream. You, Yeah, Splendor is dope. She has an awesome stream. You should definitely check it out if you haven't mean it. She streams a lot of variety. Yeah, it's, fel it's a fellow Snickerinos. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I guess we go Tillinoli Summoner into pass. Vokeas! Vokeas, thank you so much for the 19 months. Welcome back. Ooh, Slubars, I like that, uh, those snakes. Weird. 20 is... Oh, boy. That is kind of annoying. We are gonna have to bombard that. <laughs> 20 is better. Kitty stream is so relaxed and fun. The best part of the Viper Boot is finding all these new people that are awesome. Yeah, that is like one of my favorite things about stream teaming is like getting to know the other team members because everybody streams really awesome and different things. Uh... Yeah, 91 Sniper, it's very strange. I don't know what our opponent's up to. They're up to some nonsense is what I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could definitely um, ascend with Tillinelli Summoner and then just like bounce their creature or bounce their like merfolk. We make two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We would need to make three to actually ascend this turn. Hmm. Their deck is really good. Yeah, we can't ascend and do something else in the same t turn. I do think we have to bombard and expel. I just don't really... We're, we're going to have to bounce probably this thing because it has a counter on it. So... And I don't think we can attack with a summoner this turn because we're just going to get owned. And this is not even like a... Well, this does give it first strike. Katie Rose wants to learn magic? Oh my gosh, yes, one of us. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with a Corsair. Yeah, learn how to play magic stream. It also it wouldn't be one stream. It would be like a couple of streams. Oh, Katie, it doesn't matter if you're bad. Um, it's all about like... I'm going to kill this now because I really don't want to... I really want to make sure that thing doesn't kill us. But I will have the Buccaneers Bravado to see if we can... Or we'll either expel this thing. 
Cauldron, I don't think I want to attack with both. I think I want to leave this behind and potentially... Target your control explores. You may play additional land this turn. That's fine. You've only played five games of Magic on Steam? On stream? You mean on stream, right? Not on Steam? Okay, I think... I think we tell them all summoner, put it right here, and then post one, post one, and first strike it. Though to be fair, I think we're gonna need the Buccaneers Ravada to hit with this thing for a double strike one turn. So maybe we're supposed to expel this guy. <sighs> all right, we're gonna try this. We're gonna go here. I can't expel the token, it has hexproof. Okay. Okay, so we killed that. Now we just gotta make sure we don't die. We have four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to nine, 10 to make some one ones. The, to the summoners, yes, the tokens from the summoner do count for Ascend. What sculptor, Narbly? Don't water not yet, they have a sculptor. Excel super chicken. They just drew a card for the turn. They're behind. You don't want to bother playing around their stuff. Yeah, no, I just want to like first strike my creature. You know, I think here I'm supposed to. Um. How do you know they have a sculptor? Oh shoot, they do. Yeah, so we won't water not yet. Okay, so I think what we're supposed to do here is attack with everybody. We have to leave up two for expel. So we're gonna go this, this. All right, and now we get this trigger. We get to pay red, one, two, three. Leave up expel. We say yes to that, and we pay three for this, and we get to ascend, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. Hashtag blessed. Okay, so now we get to keep the elemental, which is awesome, because we need some blockers. <laughs> okay, now they attack with that. Hold on, let me see if they use, they don't even have a reason to use a pump spell. We get to expel this thing for two. Pioneer? I don't think I want to do the Pioneer. Return it to library. I want to do that one because it has a an extra counter that it shouldn't have. Now they get to play the Storm Sculptor and now we water not the Sculptor. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we go... What are not this punk? One, two, three. Oh, do we have, hold on, did we have lethal with max tokens? Cause we get to make two here. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, we do. We totally do. We still do. No, we still do, right? We make two tokens off of this. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's if they have nothing, though. If they have, like, a bounce spell, we can lose. I don't think they have anything, though. I'm going to attack. Ba -ba -ba. They have one card. We don't know what the card is. Oh, no, sorry. No, they, we do. It's the Pioneer. Psh. 
We know that. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, this card was good. Sweet. Yeah, I forgot that the Pioneer was in their hand. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, I thought, no, 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 no. They they don't have that Parney. They have the one three, but it's on top of their deck. But we do know that they have the Pioneer because we bounced that one. Um, they bounced that off a of Storm Sculpture. So we would have known two in their hand, but one of them was on in their library because of Ascend. <laughs> I kept wanting to pronounce Tilly as Tilly Tolly. That's funny. Okay, ducky. Yeah, we were super hashtag blessed. We can't keep this hand. We have one mountain. These were my draws at the GP. So unfortunate. Oh boy. This one I think we keep. Hey, Anacho. How are you? What do you guys think? Do we keep this one? We're on six. We get to... We get to... We get to scry. They should have not. They should have not changed to green white. Why did they even do that? Their decks seem very good. Mull, so some people. You would keep this. You would mull this. The six. You'd mull the six. We're hashtag blessed. We'll get a land. Like if we get, even if we, even if we draw an island, we have some stuff to do. If you, if you're drawing, you would keep play mull says sliver. Yes, five on the play also seems horrible. Anacho, thank you so much for the tier two sub. I appreciate that, Anacho. Welcome back. I think I'm gonna keep I'm this. Be able to watch your stream today. It has been a shitty day, but it's ending is better. Mm, Anacho, I am happy to hear that this stream is making your day, even if it's a little bit, a little bit better. See, your resub came in in a timely, in a timely fashion. We are, we're gonna get to play this Trailblazer on turn two. We get to play C red right after. It's gonna be dope. That was a maze. A maze. So after cube this weekend, I'm thinking of putting together a cube tab at the office. Uh, Parney, I used to have an actual cube. Um, it was so much fun. I, I really loved playing that cube. I'm gonna see red this thing. This is an all-in stream though. The fact that it has menace is really nice. Uh, so Parney, I think what you wanna do when building a cube, because there's just like a lot of different cubes, is if you do put any combos, make sure that the combos are like pretty obvious. So don't like debate people by putting a reanimate, but no like way for you to actually Oh, they're attacking? Interesting. Okay. Um, so yeah, you want you want the like themes of the cube to be like pretty overt. I think I think I'm just going to crashing tide this thing. No, they don't have a profitable block, but Yeah, maybe it is just good for them to attack. They, they, they can't ever chump this, huh? Maybe it's better for... Like, the Skyblade of the Legion is not that big of a problem. But if they try to do something, I might be able to see legs and save it. We'll see. I might end up, like, expelling from... Oraska. Yeah, I'll just bounce this. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> now they have to clean up. And they pitched the spire winder. That's kind of dope. All right. <laughs> I 
<laughs> made him discard Gavion. <laughs> Look, if we can make him, uh, if we can put them to eight. Oh boy. Uh, you're gonna get go get gotten. This is a pirate, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're just all eggs, one basket. All eggs, one basket. Taste. <laughs> this is the dream draw for this deck. This is so silly. All right, what is this? I hope this isn't Luminous Spawns. This good. Oh man. Come on. So stupid. I'm probably gonna crashing tide uh, my my trailblazer in a second, unless we draw. Mm. I mean that's not bad. Rip our hexproof boggles experience. I wish I had a dive down. That would have been dope. I'm just going to sailor. Sad panda. I might bounce my our own guy. Yeah, maybe we're supposed to do that that turn. I don't think that much magic is healthy for a goblin. Sign and lookout is kind of annoying. Kite sell Corsair is what they found. We need to draw some creatures. Yeah, maybe it was better to bounce a Trailblazer because next turn we could have gotten Sailor memes into a Trailblazer with treasure. Yeah. Instead, we're drawing literal nothing. One, two, three. And we drew another mountain. Stupid. How do I like the set so far? I like it better than I like Ixalan. I don't know how much I like it yet. I, I, I really did enjoy it at the GP. Like I did. There is more gameplay to the set than I thought there was. So I do like that. Um, I think it is slower than Ixalan, so that's good. Ooh, Tilanali Summoners, nice. Also, this guy just gets to get in. So I think we just go one, two, three. The one thing that was weird at the GP is I have never played with Rampaging Ferocidon in paper. It was really weird to like um, play with a card in paper. Hashtag blessed. I'm going to play my mountain because if I draw a land next turn, I'm going to want to tell Nolly Summoner for all that I can. That is fine. Are they blessed yet? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, not quite. Yes, the Ferocidon triggers, that was pretty annoying, Molly, because it was. So they have one, two, three, four creatures. I can just attack with all and make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, six, one, ones. And they can block. Yeah, I think I'm just sending everybody. Until Nolly Summoner will die. My Trailblazer might die here too. But we just get to keep so many guys. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. Thought I attacked. There you go. I don't know. I don't think it's lethal because they block. We're sending in with six. They can block four and then they need to put two on this or they just take two. Hold on. I think you guys might be right. I think it is actually exactly lethal. Say yes. Pay six. 
Bye-bye. I think it's the goblin that actually makes this lethal because they can block here, 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 and then they take six. Right, so they block that one, but now they need it. They're taking six from this. Wait, what are they doing? They do realize they're dead, right? That's so weird. They like were so sure about their blocks. <laughs> they, they, they like did it so like so like forcefully, like so certainly. Block, block, and you can see meta. <laughs> uh. Ooh, thank you, the word. So much lethal. Appreciate it. That was exactly lethal. That was kind of sweet. Hoping to confuse you so you lose to the clock. We, I don't think we have anything we want to board against them. They're on like flyers. Like if we had a plummet, but we're not green. I, I really didn't see anything for shatter. I don't see why Prospy P would be good here. Didn't really see any good negate targets. Maybe Miss Cloak Carol's not terrible. Hey Mur, Mur, welcome. How are you? Uh, this hand's very good. Damn. Nice curves, yo. That is very good. Yeah, I know. I think our deck turned out good. And it got a lot of help in Ixalan somehow. It's funny. Okay, now that they have played a Sun Sentinel, I no longer want Till Nolly Summoner. We'll just use it on turn six as like a burn spell almost. Um, so let's just go Kite Sail Corsair. Wait, why are we talking about the Immortal Sun? Parney had an Immortal Sun in his deck and he also had a Huatli, which was funny because at some point during deck build, Luis and Parney were joking about like, well, if this ever comes up, we just gotta make sure that we don't... Hmm, that was a good draw. To make sure that we don't play them together. And then I think in one game, they actually did do that. Like, I'm just gonna Headstrong Brute first and then I'll Water Trap Weaver. And then the Hawali was no longer able to be activated. Parney had one game where he went down to zero cards in library because he drew so many. He was drawing like one extra from Hawali and two extra from the Immortal Sun. <laughs> so he just decked. He won on his last turn because he was looking for a fester. Racist, I think Ixalan is good for people like me starting with magic and beginners to get into the system and be able to play formats quite easily. And of course, tribal. Travel fluff is nice. Yep, I think I think if you are new, it is like pretty good. Um, why don't they? Oh no, they did attack with Sun Sentinel. I forgot that thing has vigilance. I'm like, why didn't they attack with that? The Huatli Emblem is a main ability. They, I mean, he stopped drawing with her after a while. He, he did do that. Uh, I'm just gonna play Headstrom Brute number two. I liked Emiket a lot more than this set, yes. But like I said, I am liking this set a lot more than I did Ixalan, so. Why would you ever say no to drawing cards? Only if it's about to kill you. Five, six, seven, eight. They have eight. Oh my gosh, you guys, there was a really stupid ruling at the GP about how you were supposed to treat the city's blessing. If you... Okay. Just attack first. I am so headstrong right now. I am. If you... Had the city's blessing, but then law, but then like went under the number of permanents. 
I mean, that's fine. Are they gonna try some Trixies? Oh, get wrecked! <laughs> wow, our opponent got to taste it. So we have two headstrong brutes in the castle of Corsair versus Territorial Hammer Skull. This is looking good. Welcome back, Abby. 4 2 Wasteland isn't that bad. Oh, yeah. 4 2 in a Wasteland. You guys, we had a losing record on the weekend. We did so bad, like GP style. Um, but this was really cool. So we had a bounty event on Friday. And uh, Luis 3 0 and I 3 0 Okay, they are just dead to this, so I don't know what they're planning on doing, but this is a divine verdict. That is fine. That is not a big deal. So, uh, but we both reowed, and so each time that, that you defeat a bounty, you get 100 tickets, but if they don't defeat us, we get to keep the tickets. So we had... 300 tickets each for 3 0 -ing. And then if you 3 0 a bounty event, you also get 200 tickets. So we had a total combined of 1,000 tickets. Uh, we had a total combined of uh, 1,000 tickets at the end of the week. And so we were looking at what we could get, and ooh, we won the match. Huzzah. Perfect. Let me go. I'm going to go show you guys what we got from the prize wall, which was very sweet. And uh, I'm going to get something to drink also. Let me play on that and I'll be right back. I heard that. Who was that? Thank you, Exa, for the bits. Also, Kane Slants, thank you for the 23 months. I appreciate that, Kane Slants. That is almost Gold Snake. That's a real long time. Thank you so much, Kane Slants. How have you been? I know that it's hard for you to catch the stream during the day sometimes, so I appreciate when you can pop in. Learn how to announce hashtag blessed in sign language. That would actually be really funny and useful for the stream. Oh, yeah. So listen to this ruling, you guys. Um, this was so bad at the GP. At the GP, if you got the city's blessing, you didn't have to announce it. This is, this is just stupid. You didn't have to announce the city's blessing. So if you had the city's blessing and you don't have to say anything, um, but then something like you say, you block a creature that gets plus one, plus one with the city's blessing. 
And let's say you lost the city's blessing in the meantime, like you had 10 permanents, but then, hey, Shorty, thank you so much for the two months. New space for a new month. Thank you so much, Shorty. I appreciate that. New space, new month, new sub. As long as the emblem didn't cause something to change, like nothing on the board state changed because of the emblem, you never had to say anything about it. So what happened multiple different times in multiple matches at the GP was exactly that. Somebody blocking and saying, okay, our creatures trade. And then it's like, no, my creature gets double strike. Yes, yeah, so you, you don't lose the blessing once you get it. Exactly. So, so then it's like, but you never announced that you had the city's blessing. And it's like, well, I didn't have to announce it. I never like nothing changed in the board state for me to announce that I had the city's blessing. But look, I can prove that I had the city's blessing. Look, I had 10 permanents. And so this happened to a ton of people at the GP. I was like, pretty feel bad. Like, I don't know. It, it felt like that rule needs to be changed because it, it was just people were like using it and abusing it in not so pretty ways. Um, let me show you what I did get at the GP though. First of all, this was cool. Luis got me this for Christmas. I got to play with Unstable Land. That was really nice. And yeah, it was it was super garbage. It I felt like we won a game or like party won a game because of it and it was just like well but these are the rules for the weekend obviously it's like pretty shitty but like that is how people are trading it this weekend party and i were just tweeting about it yeah king says it's bad like party was on one of the ends where he didn't have to announce that he had the city's blessing hey viper bits thank you so much tinger i appreciate the bits what happened to party was he had 10 permanents and then their opponents exiled one of the creatures. And then that turn, their opponent attacks. And so Parney blocks what is now going to be a double strike creature on, on like a regular regular strike, like a regular creature. And the opponent's like, okay, these two trade. And Parney's like, um, no, my creature has first strike. I have the city's blessing. He's like, what do you mean? You don't have, you didn't say anything. He's like, I didn't have to say anything. It's like, you don't have 10 permanents. It's like, no, you, we had 10 permanents. Like, you you just you this turn killed my my tenth creature, and the person was like oh, so obviously a judge was called. The judge comes here and rules like yeah this he is doing things right, and then obviously like our opponents were like pretty upset. I didn't even see any of this. I was on the upset side of party, so I never saw this match happen. Um, anyway, completely unrelated to that, party did not angle hard, Luis. This is what we got with I don't know if you can see it very well. This is what we got with a thousand tickets from the bounty event. The coolest thing about this is that at the end of it, we decided to just flip a coin to see who would get it. And guess who got it? Yeah, isn't that nice? What a waste, said somebody. What was the price? It was a thousand tickets. Um, it's worth like $200 or something like that. <laughs> Partney's like, cool. Or sorry, Luis is like, cool. Uh, the head judge, yes, they ended up making an announcement, the head judge did, but I don't know. Everything about that rule was like pretty scummy. Molly, you know what? Luis can borrow it if he ever wants to. What is it? It's a foil wasteland, Ash, or Asf. I don't know if you got a chance to, to see it up close. It is really nice. It has the like, um, like you know how like, like the promo cards have a thing at the bottom? Yeah, like. God, can this camera focus maybe or no? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, King Sans, it, it, was, it was not good. I don't like how they handled the city's blessing. It feels like they handled it bad. It's not a bad ruling, just depends on how decent of a person you are. But one of many, the, the reason I don't like it is because I don't like that people have to be put in the situation. I think it's a judge promo, yeah. Hi, Gabby. Today is awesome. Fall Out Boy's new. Up. Oh my gosh, is that true? I love Fall Out Boy, Kent. Thanks for letting me know. Well, this is a foil wasteland. It's a judge promo, so it's going to be a little bit different than like the like, the regular cost of a wasteland. Wastelands are admittedly kind of cheap right now. Hold on. I think I want Kitesel Corsair, actually. 
Yes, that's what I mean. That's what I don't like is I don't like that you have to put people in a, in a spot where, like, the correct play is to be... To like, like it's a it's a lot easier. Did you move or are you? I'm at Luisa's place, Sintano. I am moving, but not yet. Don't term tournaments by their nature encourage you to angle shoot. Not really. Some stuff like this city's blessing rule that encourages to angle shoot. I think that is shitty. But by nature, I don't think that tournaments like encourage you to do that. Did I find the apartment? Um, Darsko, thank you so much for the five months. Welcome back. I appreciate, I appreciate you supporting the stream. Gabby speaking into the bottle. <laughs> I want to play a game. That's not Bane. That's a, that's a Jigsaw. <laughs> I got the movies. I goofed up the movies together. <laughs> Pro clutch deny so far. That's just that's just rumors. Hey Darsko, welcome. Uh, I am looking for a place. I did find one place that I really like, and then I found three places that were, places that were kind of a bust. I looked at a ton of listings online, but I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted, and so it was like relatively easy to narrow down. Huh? Thrashing Bronte, do you say? Well, we get to attack with both anyway, because this has Menace and this has Flying. Yeah, there was one place that we saw. I, I, I talked about that at the beginning of the stream, Luis. There was one place that we saw that looked like these, and then I went to look at the Yelp reviews, and I was like, oh my god, get me out of here. And like I said, with a caveat of, of course, the people that are mad are going to leave the bad reviews, but the place was just, like, looked awful. Um, do I want to draw and discard? Yes. Cannot ever play the secrets of the Golden City, so let's pitch it. You have a standard deck for me? Is it good? Can you whisper it to me? I am extra. It's not that Chicago has, it's not that Denver has like that much better weather than fuck. Then, then, it's not that Denver has that much better weather than Chicago, but it is like, it is better. Uh, let's give this thing plus one, plus one first strike. This is not a, oh, it is a pirate. I can give it double strike. It is less windy, it's more sunny. So like the weather is a little bit better, even if it's not like amazingly better, you know what I mean? And then I'll play my Goblin Trailblazer. Yeah. <laughs> Normally that, that is basically what I said. It is, the, the weather here is better. Like Chicago weather is bad is the thing. I would like to loot. Um, I don't see how Fiery Cannonade is going to be very good at this game because it looks like we're playing against Naya Dinos, so I'm going to get rid of... But I don't want to show them the Cannonade, although I'm probably going to board it out against them. I'll pitch the Cannonade. I think it's fine. I love Chicago too, but 100 degree humid summers, ambush and cold. Yeah, extra. I kind of f agree with that. Oh, boy. Oh boy. It has both, which is, it's a weird combination to have. Cool, thank you so much, Kane Science. Appreciate it. As a fellow Illinois transplant to Denver, for me personally, Denver weather on average is much better, in my honest opinion. Yeah, uh, Kaden, I have heard that from other people too. And even just in my experience so far, that has been the case. Um. This is interesting. I can nug them to the face, and then next turn, we they, unless they play two creatures, I'm hitting them for another two. I think I just should Stormfleet Arsonist, actually, because setting them back on, they might have like a big six drop that they're waiting to play. We got to enable raid here, too. I have not been to the Ethiopian place. I need to go. Yeah, I think in this spot, the time walk is pretty good, because it seems like their hand is just like probably some like big fat dino stuck in their hand. 
I like that lady. Hmm. I like my unstable lands. So many people gave me shit for my unstable lands. Why, why do people have to be like that? Why do people are like, they don't look like magic cards. Can I just enjoy my freaking lands? Uh, so Cannonade seems pretty bad against them. They look so nice. Why do people complain about these? Oh my god! Extras, you say that as a joke, but I want to go to Casa Bonita so bad. I'm going to go look up right now what the hours of Casa Bonita are. You don't understand. I love South Park. <laughs> It's magic, people complain. That's true. Hey, Jules, how are you? How does someone hate unstable lands? So many people were like, why are you playing with unstable lands? They look so ugly. They don't have a frame. What is wrong with them? What is wrong with you? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just so happy that I'm like playing. I'm so happy that I'm playing uh, paper magic. Like I finally get to bust out my lands. I'm so excited. We're like, don't play with them. That's what people sound like when they make fun of me. How many times have you been going to like, get that sweet? Oh, I'm gonna jam that sweet cream, that sweet cream ice cream lady because I love it. Do you guys remember that ice cream that Luis and I got, or that Luis had on stream the other night? The like one that's supposed to be made like it's like vegan and it has like no artificial sugars and it's made out of like pea protein base. Hey, anonymous, how are you? Welcome. Um, as it turns out, it was too good to be true. That thing is actually horrible. I strongly recommend you never buy it. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, this is the ice cream. Do not, I repeat, do not ever purchase this ice cream, okay? I repeat, whatever you do, do not purchase this ice cream. It is horrible. It's horrible. If it sounds like it's too good to be true, it's because it is too good to be true. It's 100 calories per pint. Okay, I'm gonna take um, Cannonade out because I don't think they have low drops or it didn't look like it was very good. Um, I'll bring in a, we saw a fight effect. Might bring in another sea legs. Maybe a Prosby P is not too bad. <laughs> Sponsorship opportunity gone. Yeah, this is a not sponsored stream, stream by Winky. The, it is, it was horrible. <laughs> you just bought things. The problem too is if you buy it, you have to, oh boy, this hand is something. I think I'm keeping it. We're on the draw. Hopefully we get a land for this guy. Halo top is, is these. If you want recom I, I'm always looking for, I only play with foil and stable land since they came out so much Jeremy hate. See, but can I chat? I don't understand though. Like why do people have to bag on the choice of lands? Why don't they just let you enjoy your lands? I would love to draw like a kite cell Corsair next turn. Personally, I love the unstable planes. Kind of reminiscent of. Oh, I I don't mind I, I don't mind drawing a two drop. Not at all. I only play with foil unstable lands since they came out. Oh, sorry. I already saw, I already saw that message. Wait, was the ice cream Lisa was eating and said it was good after he got mad? He did not say it was good. He actually was like, I'm not sure if this is good. Um, I'm not gonna block. I don't think. Halo top is good. Halo top is like interesting. Halo top is like eighty percent of the flavor of ice cream for like twenty five percent of the calories. That wink thing is like ten percent of the calories for ten percent of the flavor. It was just it was unplayable. I was in the room like eating the ice cream and i was just sitting there like looking at the ice cream like pretty upset and then louise walks in at some point he's like oh my god you really did not like that did you <laughs> so they're planning on blocking is that what's going on they have a dino that they want to flash in maybe is what's going on here i kind of want to punish them I kind of want to just crashing tide the cherished hatchling and bash with both. That sounds dope, actually. 
Hey, yeah, Farkas. Yeah, now they don't even get the block. Maybe I was supposed to bounce the bishop soldier, yeah. But it, it felt like we did want to punishment punish them that turn. The thing about it is like I don't want to let them be able to double block with a with a, the one one or the two one because clearly they have a. Oh my god! I wish I could have robotted that thing. You're in your third draft of today. Nice, congrats! I'm into it. That's pretty cool. I think we just see red this thing. And we play a Tillamali Summoner, and next turn we get to bash for like a bajillion. Those ones are beautiful. If you were giving something that you know is pretty and someone else who doesn't own them. <laughs> Thank you, Mark Chess. That's what I don't understand. Like, just let the person who was playing with their lands enjoy their lands. It's not... Nanny wants Sniper. I think the reason I want to get in there with this is because next turn I want to Tillamali Summoner for like all I can. Because I get to be hashtag blessed next turn. We get to hit for approximately a million. What? What did, what did Rich say that, Vinther? Yeah, let people enjoy their lands, yo. All right, Casa Bonita. Denver Mexican restaurant, Taste of Magic Mexico. It's got 17,000 Google reviews. Mexican eats and pageantry such as divers plunging into the pool below 30 feet. Waterfall and puppet shows. I, I do have to watch the South Park episode. They were planning on doing this. Don't go, but I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> yeah, Casa Bonita, believe it or not, is legitimately a real place. It is like actually just a real place. I could play Marauding Looter and Buccaneers Bravado this turn. Like I could send with Headstrong Brute and... It's not like they can block. Yeah, and then, or, or I could just like headstrong brute this turn. I knew I got the blessing by attacking and tokening. I think I'm not gonna do it this turn though. Oh, it's, it's, it's shitty walk a real place too. That's awesome. I think what I'm gonna do is attack with this, just this. I'm gonna hold the bravado if I need to. And now I'm gonna play the Marauding Looter. One, two, three, four. And then we'll loot to see what I draw. If it's land, I'm just gonna pitch it probably. Celix is not bad. How much do we want the Headstrong Brute? Maybe it's a Headstrong Brute that I don't need. Rich was controlling the card of your own stream, so I asked if I could go through one of my favorite basic islands, 7th and 8th edition white <laughs> You are kind of a monster, Minther. Um, Gabby, you will be close to the place that you and we went to Japan with the fighting dinos. Uh, in terms of how silly it is, I don't think so, Kainsland. The place that we went to in Japan was like nuts. I don't, yeah, I think I'm going to keep the brood. I think I'm going to pitch the sea legs. I do want the Buccaneers Bravado. I think that's going to be good. See ya, Cobra. Denver has a lot of good food places from a wide range of cultures. I know most people don't think of Denver when they think of Food Hub. I have found all the food that I've eaten here to be quite good. I have never, like, uh, sure. Oh, water knot is not bad. Maybe we can just water knot this thing and just attack again. 
attack with like this and maybe not attack with Tolmali Summoner. I can head Strong Brute and Water Knot. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. This needs... Golden Guardian fights another target to your control and Golden Guardian dies this turn, return it to the battlefield, transform under your control. So... Huh. We can't really put it on Guardian. I don't think that's going to work out very well. Because this, this can just like eventually fight something else. So we, maybe we not this guy. Or not this guy. And then we can send. Then they can block here. We take this down and maybe they double block to try to take the Headstrong Brute down. I think we want or not the Life Linker. Because this guy's like kind of messing us up. Because of the life gain. And now we can send with like Headstrong Brute and this guy. And then we'll Buccaneers Bravado if we need to. Oh, if they don't block this, we just have to win. This is a pirate confirming. Yes. Pa, pa, pa. Is that match? Hey, that was not bad. Do I have confetti on this on this overlay or no? I don't have confetti. <laughs> All right, pretend there's confetti. <laughs> pa, 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 pa. Why are we even here? Um. Look, we're back up over 1,800 again. Our fall from grace has come back to life, I suppose, after the 24-hour stream. We are back over 1,800. God, that's embarrassing. You can see the confetti. Yeah, just whoosh, pretend. 1,800 MLG rating. Gabby, how many more throws do we need for 1,800? See, we just did it. We did it, King Sans. We are exactly. We're back on the road to 1,900. We did 3-0 back to the cave. It was good. Um, let me wrap up the video real quick. If you are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. You can like and subscribe this video for more. You can see more of these videos on youtube.com slash Gabby Sparts. And if you want to catch the stream live, you can go to twitch.tv slash Gabby Sparts. I stream every weekday in the afternoons central times. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See you later.